On one of my recent videos, I got some really encouraging feedback in the comments. But part of the comment said, it still boggles my mind that there's no way to just take a batch of 50 pictures and drop them straight into Keynote. Well, I wanna show you here, I have Keynote open. I have a folder with 50 photos selected. I'm gonna click on it, drag them over and drop them. And if we go in here now to Keynote, you will see 50 full screen images that are ready to go with a drag and drop, but it's not as easy as I've made it look. And I'll show you how to do that in today's video. Here's part of the secret sauce. Whatever you're doing with photos that you wanna bring into Keynote, your first step should be to bring them into Apple's photo app. And so in here, I have a folder I've created with 50 images I want to use in Keynote. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that within photos, if you click on an image and you go to the top of the screen and click on this eye, you get a little window that tells you information about the photo. This photo is clearly 16 by nine crop, but it is way larger than 1920 by 1080. So your photo size and pixels, all that stuff, you can't just drag this photo out of photos and drop it into Keynote and have it keep it full screen the way it's gonna work. And if you did that, because of the size of the photo, it would be a very large Keynote file. What you have to do is get them out of here. The first thing you do is go through all your photos like I have and make sure they're all 16 by 9. This one is not. Here you can see an image that has not been cropped. We'll double click, brings up the full image, and the top right corner, we're going to choose edit. And on the top center, we have an option for crop. Then over here on the right hand side, we have different preset dimensions. We're going to click on 16 by 9, but we're not done yet. Now we have this in 16 by 9, but we can still drag it and it shows us our rule of three grid. So I want to get that sign right on that top line. Now we'll go to the top right again, and now we'll click done. You want to do this for each of your photos in that album so that they are all set up the way you want them to be. Click on edit, come over and click on crop, go to the side and click on 16 by 9, and then go in here and adjust your photo. This is why you won't just do some kind of a shortcut that'll crop all your photos to 16 by 9 because it's just going to change the dimensions, not frame the picture the way you probably want it framed. So when you go in here and you edit and you crop, the shortcut is that you know it's going to be 16 by 9, but you've got to be able to look at the photo and see how do you want it set up before before you click done so it's ready to go. We keep doing this with all of our photos till they're all 16 by nine, no matter what the actual pixel dimensions are. And now once all 50 images are cropped 16 by nine, again, if we were to click on that eye, you can see that some of these are 1920 by 1080, but not all of them are. So the secret here is exporting them. So in photos, we'll go up here to the very top of the screen. We'll go to edit and come down and do select all. Again, I recommend working in an album. All 50 photos are selected. Now we'll go File and Export. When you go to Export, you'll want your photos. You can change them whatever style you want. For photo kind, I like to use just JPEG. Quality, high. You don't need to do maximum because we're only going to do 1920 by 1080. So we'll keep it the quality at high. And then go to Size. It, you'll be defaulted to large or full size. You want to bring it to custom and set your width to 1920. That will make it where the dimensions are 16 by 9. So if the width is 1920, the height will be 1080. Now we can do Export. Then we'll create a folder. I've got one here called 50. You can make yours whatever you want by clicking new folder and titling it. Then click export and it will put all those images in that folder. And at the top here, you can watch as it works. And as that circle's going around, it's exporting all those images and it's resizing them to 1920 by 1080. When it's done, we have this folder of 50 images. And if we go in here and choose columns so we can see the details, We'll see over here in dimensions that all of these are 1920 by 1080. By the way, all the photos I've gotten today are from Unsplash. I highly recommend that. It's a great resource for photos. If you want to double check the size of your presentation, 16 by 9, custom slide size, and it pops up and you have 1920 by 1080. You can resize this to whatever you want. We're going to leave it there because that's how we set up our photos. Now with our folder here of 50 photos, we can come to the top of the screen, choose edit, select all. Now all 50 photos have been selected. We can simply click on one, drag it over here to the left hand side. And we'll see that green plus button show up and drop it. And as we let go, it brings them all in. 
And now we have our 50 images dropped into Keynote, full size, ready to go for your presentation. The key is to do all the work in photos first, resizing them, editing them, rearranging them, however you want it to go. And then when you bring them into Keynote, they're all set. So it is possible to do this, just not dragging any set of random images and dropping them into Keynote. You need to bring them into photos first and edit them. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments, what questions do you have? I would love to help you and it might even make it in one of my future videos. Thanks so much. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see when more come out, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.